Attack on Titan Episode 54 gave us the long-awaited Captain Levi vs. Beast Titan fight, a battle which fans of the manga knew would be incredibly explosive. Fans flocked to social media as viewers were utterly stunned, cheering and screaming at an animation which can only be described as God-tier. The animator for this particular scene is Arafumi Imai, one of those legendary animators that seemingly only comes along once a decade. He has worked on a variety of anime, but most notably Naruto, One Punch Man, and Attack on Titan. He was one of the animators on One Punch Man Season 1's Dream Team, animating some of the most notorious fights of the season. He's also done some amazing cuts for Naruto and even for the Boruto movie. For Attack on Titan, he is the man responsible for many of the incredible scenes that made you fall in love with the show, like this one, and this one, and this one. Even the very first battle scene of the first episode of Attack on Titan, which caught viewers' eyes, was Arafumi Imai. The battle between Levi and the Beast Titan happened incredibly fast, leaving viewers shocked at what they just witnessed. It requires slowing down the footage to see exactly what is happening in each frame in order to grasp the camera work, framework, direction, and understanding of the highly complex animation. In this video, we're going to slow down the footage so we can see exactly how they were able to create this magnificent piece of animation. Now obviously this scene right here where it all pops off in the very beginning, which really catches your eye, is absolutely crazy. So what you're getting is mixed perspectives as the camera is changing. You're getting different perspectives of Levi, of the Beast Titan's arm turning, and you're getting a lot of interesting framework as well. Pay attention to the way that the landscapes are shifting around the characters to give you that sense of direction and add to the camera work. The camera is starting at the Beast Titan's shoulder, moving to the back of his hand, moving to the back of his head. Now, I thought that this entire scene was actually on ones, meaning 24 pictures a second, but it's not. There's actually a lot of three and four frame pictures. In fact, this one in particular is 10 frames, so it's almost half a second long, but because the background is moving and shifting so fast, it gives you the illusion of high speed. This is an incredibly complex scene. I can't stress how complex it is because of the varying camera work, the changing of perspectives of the characters, and the framework that they use to show Levi accelerating and decelerating as he's twisting around the Beast Titan's arm. The trails of blood that he's creating continue to shift in the background as they spew out, giving this illusion that Levi is moving in turbo speed. Also pay attention to the smears that they are including on certain parts of the Beast Titan's arm to show the speed in that particular section of him, particularly where Levi is at that current moment in time. Almost as if Levi is moving so fast that it's warping the space around him. This is one of the most complex animated scenes, I believe, ever, and it deserves all of the praise. Next up, we have Levi recovering his dash as he shoots a grappling hook onto the Beast Titan's back, flying and tricking him into believing that he's going for his neck when he's actually going for his eyes. Pay attention to the smoke plumes here as they spiral out and you get this beautiful perspective shot of the grappling hook shooting out in a spiral fashion as Levi flies in. Also pay attention to the direction of the smears which give that emphasis of circular momentum coming out of Levi. Also you have the background and the smoke plumes shrinking quickly behind him to emphasize the speed as he launches himself. As Levi flies past the beast titan you can see his body stretch out, we get a nice smear of him some wind frames come out after his slice and a delayed reaction with the blood ultimately exploding moments after he passes by. They continue to provide the optical illusion of light speed movement as Levi is moving so fast that it takes time for the physics to actually catch up to him. And when the blood comes out, you see it explode outwards, but also the blood follows the trail of wind from where Levi was heading. 
The next scene is probably my favorite of the episode as we see Levi flying around the Beast Titan from all different perspectives, similar to the arm slicing scene in the beginning, but I think this scene is even more complex. You have so much shifting backgrounds, shifting Titan, and Levi moving around the Titan at great speeds. Finally, there is so much detail on the Titan in every single picture. Typically, when you have some high frame scenes like this, the animators, or at least the chief animation supervisor, will tell them to dull down the art to two shades so that they can do all of these frames at minimal cost, but here they maintain the high detail for every single frame. Pay attention to the direction that the blood and the wind is actually following Levi as if he's moving so fast that the blood and wind are following him in a vacuum. The backgrounds are constantly changing from perspective as the camera follows circling around the Beast Titan and Levi. And as Levi starts to drop down to towards the ground, the entire camera perspective changes again, and now we're actually getting an eagle eye view of Levi falling down the spine of the Beast Titan heading towards the ground. The camera speeds up in order to make this transition as we get some smears and he flies down towards the leg. Excellent use of anatomy, trying to draw the Beast Titan from all of these different perspectives and angles completely proportionally is a testament to true artistic skill. As the camera follows Levi, he does some more spinning motion and slices the Achilles heel of the Beast Titan. Pay attention to the way that the camera zooms in and out following Levi, eventually turning, giving us a 180 degree perspective turn, now following Levi from the front instead of trailing his back. This allows us to zoom out again and see the slice that he had just done, blood slowly spewing out as Levi is moving in light speed again to give that sense of velocity as Levi heads towards the next ankle, we get smears as his foot comes into the camera and he slices that. The flares are actually moving from the top to the bottom of his sword in the same frame that is done by the effects team to add extra speed to the slice. And as he finishes, the blood explodes in a spiraling fashion as the camera pushes outward. With his Achilles heels sliced, the Beast Titan can't handle his own weight and falls to the ground, giving us smears and perspective of his face actually slamming down onto the ground, crushing his jaw, cracking it and shifting it all over the place. Excellent use of physics to display the weight of the Beast Titan all falling down onto his jaw. In the next scene, we get a spiraling movement out of Levi as the thrusters on his ODM gear change direction in order to emphasize the centripetal force coming out of Levi. The background with the sky and the clouds also add to this centripetal force. All of the weight and gravity behind that twisting allows Levi to fly through the Beast Titan's hand and slice it up into a million pieces. This is possibly the most artistically beautiful scene of this entire episode. As Levi slices it up, you can see the hand actually begin to expand a little bit before it explodes, giving the sense of burst. And they animate it from the perspective of a camera's wide angle lens so you can see everything that's going on and it creates a breathtaking picture. Now as Levi is slicing up the Beast Titan like crazy from the back, they actually lower the exposure, which as you can see here, I copy and pasted the scene and raised the exposure so you can see what it would have looked like without their lowering of exposure. The reason that they do this is for people who have photosensitive epilepsy after the whole Pokemon incident. Anime now, they tend to do this on scenes that they think might trigger epilepsy. And you'll see this a lot, especially in My Hero Academia. They do it here on Attack on Titan as well. I'm hoping that none of you have epilepsy because I'm showing you what it looks like without that. Regardless, this is just a fantastic scene, a great loop of slices and blood coming out. You can feel the power of Levi as all those blades directions are coming out, slicing him into a million pieces. And finally, Levi plants his foot and with a mighty swing, rips out the human from the Beast Titan. Footwork is commonly used in anime to emphasize that the character is getting ready for a massive blow. You see Levi's right foot slide back and then slam down so hard that even hair follicles from the Beast Titan are flying up and his ankle twists. You get great artwork and coloring here from Levi. A huge slash as the spread of blood follows the direction of his slice and look at the eyes on that man. He is a psycho. 
And with that, the amazing cut is pretty much over. Wow, so much animation experience, understanding of physics, and just raw talent went into this cut. This will go down as one of the best animated cuts in history. It's something that people are going to want to rewatch over and over again. I know I am, and I hope that this video taught you a few things about animation and shed some light on the skill of Arafumi Imai, because this guy is a legend of animation. Thank you guys for stopping by my video today. If you enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up down below and comment if you haven't already and I'll be seeing you soon for another video.